We were very matter of fact about it. We took the time as a family to process it and come to accept it. And once we were comfortable with it and could articulate it, we did begin to share that information with friends and family. We were just very matter of fact about it. We did not want anybody feeling sorry for him. There was nothing wrong with him. He just was different. He just needed to do things in a different way. And we wanted, when we shared that information, to put as much of a positive spin on it as possible so that people could continue to enjoy him rather than feel sorry for him. My mom and my sister and my husband's parents were at Kate's birth. Um, were there in the hospital, so they all kind. Of, they actually all knew before I knew, because uh, they had seen Kate, and I wasn't. You know, when they when they showed Kate to me, um, she was born via cesarean. Um, she was all bundled up. Her ears were actually covered, and I didn't even know anything was wrong, other than the fact that I had knew something just didn't seem quite right. People were all hush hush and sounded a little frantic, and just the look on my husband's face, I could tell that there wasn't something quite right. Um, so, and luckily I didn't actually have to express a whole lot of um, explanation to, to those people immediately, but it was very difficult uh, to tell the rest of our family what had happened. This, there, no, there was not a child that was born in either one of our families with any kind of serious uh, health issues um, upon birth. and. It was just very difficult because it was our first child. We were expecting to, you know, for it to be an incredibly joyous occasion, which turned into a, a more bittersweet uh, occasion. Um, and uh, we, uh, it, I, I know my husband couldn't even explain it to people the first week. I was the only person that could actually talk about it. We told them that we weren't really quite sure what type of hearing loss Mallory had that um, we were given two different answers. One was that she had sensory neural hearing loss and we didn't really go with that initially and we decided to go for a second opinion with another doctor and she said that, discovered I guess, that she had auditory neuropathy. 